This is officially the first time I've ever held a microphone in my life. <laughs> first thing I want to do is congratulate all of the other award winners here tonight. It was a great honor for me to be a part of such an incredible group. I want to thank everyone who was involved in the selection process. I only know a couple people personally, but thank you to everyone that was involved. I'll tell you that this award is not an award I ever expected. Had I expected it, I definitely would have brushed up on my speech and presentation skills over the last six years. <clears throat> but I'm really excited that my family was able to be here tonight. Their dedication to be here tonight, the same dedication they showed throughout my baseball career. Starting with Little League up until I stopped playing five years ago, they were at almost every game I played. It didn't matter what the weather was like or what part of the country I was playing in. My family showed up to the games to support me. I actually thought about bringing my two sons here tonight. I thought that might be pretty cool, but then I started to think about the kind of damage they can do at home. <laughs> I guarantee you my 18-month-old would put, it, put this entire golf course out of business if he was here. So I figured it would be safer for them if they just sit this one out. It's just amazing to me that it's already been six years since I played college baseball, but my years playing in Slack and for Greenville College were some of the best years of my life. I had a lot of great teammates and coaches, and a lot of those guys I still talk to on a regular basis today. Without them, I would not be standing in front of you. When I think back to my time playing in the Slyak, my favorite time of the year was playing in the conference tournaments. Every sports person loves tournament time, regardless of the sport or the level, and our conference tournament is no different. We were fortunate enough to make the conference tournament every year I was at Greenville, but unfortunately, Webster won the conference tournament about every year I was at Greenville. <laughs> But what a great thing that was for this conference. Webster always did well at the national tournament, and it was fun for me to see them succeed at the national level. But having said that, it was nice to see Greenville knock Webster out of the Slack tournament this past weekend. <laughs> <laughs> for the second year in a row. I really need to thank my head coach, Coach Carlson, for giving me the opportunity to play college baseball. Coach Carlson is a very competitive person on the field, but more importantly, he cares about his players off the field. Coach Carlson always stressed the importance of faith and education. When I was playing, all I ever thought about was how I wanted to play baseball the rest of my life, and that was my goal. But here I am today, no longer playing baseball, and I can look back and see that Coach Carlson had it right all along. Coach Carlson is a great leader and is a great representative for this conference. I can remember the spring of my final year at Greenville. I think I was taking only one class. I was married, and I was driving back and forth from where I lived in Edwardsville. So in my spare time, when we didn't have a game of practice, I would work a few hours at a part-time job at a local landscape supply store. And one day, I was at work because we didn't have practice or varsity game, but we did have a JV game. I guess when Coach Carlson realized I wasn't there, I got a phone call telling me I better show up. But that, at the time, I was frustrated because I thought that, that I needed to be making a little bit of money. But the reality was we had a game, even if it was a JV game, and I wasn't there for my teammates. I remember most of the home runs I hit in college and the big, big games we won as a team. This incident sticks out in my mind more than anything. There were a lot of guys that didn't get much varsity playing time, but they still showed up to every game. I needed to be there for my teammates. And it's stuff like that where I'm glad nobody ever cut me a break because of what I accomplished on the field. My, co my coaches and teammates never told me how good I was. They just always push me to be better. My college baseball career has really had a positive impact on my life, even outside of baseball. My experience while playing in Slack and for Greenville College taught me to be a hard worker. It taught me the importance of integrity and discipline, all of which I've carried over to my career as a police officer. And even though my playing days are over, baseball is still a big part of my life. I'll still give the occasional hitting lesson on the side and I'm also involved in an email group of Cardinals fans that discusses anything that has to do with St. Louis Cardinals baseball. <laughs> a lot of the guys in the group are affiliated with Greenville College Athletics. I usually don't send any many emails out in that group, but anytime B.J. Schneck or Doug Faulkner try to break down the player's hitting mechanics, you better believe I'm going to have something to say. <laughs> but once again, I just want to thank the slide for this great honor. Thanks for the great experience of playing Division III baseball, and thanks to everyone that helped me along the way. <laughs>